I'm joined now by a gentleman who wears multiple hats, one of which he is very well known for as chairman and CEO of Kudelski Group. But today, I'm going to ask him to put on his Inno Swiss hat as president of this organization. And we're going to talk about Swiss innovation and Swiss tech here at the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. Now, you're no stranger to this show. No, it's really a great opportunity. And I must say that I'm really happy today because we have had some discussion with Ambassador Vigo and just the idea to bring Swiss innovation to Vegas at the CS show. Yeah. And she has come to me by saying, oh, I have this idea. Mm -hmm. I have got the same idea just a few months before. Ah. And basically, how that's how things has happened. And I'm really very, very happy that today it's live. Now, why is it important to be here? Simply because the U.S. is the first consumer market in the world. Fundamentally, in a world where everything is going faster and faster, it's important to have a time to market that is extremely fast. And if you want to be fast, that's a place to be. Because here, you can show your innovation, you can show your new product, and then people can see if that is addressing the needs. So is it also important for Swiss companies to think Okay, eventually I need to have a foot in Silicon Valley. No, first to have a foot in America. Period. Silicon, period. Okay. Silicon Valley is a way to get to America, as CES is a way to get to America. Okay. But it's not one or the other, it's both. All right, and where does China fit into this puzzle? Is it also important to have a foot in China? China is important, but China is not as open as a consumer market as the United States. Yes. United States here, even if you may have some people criticizing what is happening, is extremely open as an economy. All right, so you would say U.S. first US and first. then China. No, but U.S. first and many things happening in the rest of the world as just a proxy of what is happening in the U.S. And, I see. and in the U.S., Silicon Valley is in advance over the rest of the U.S. and the rest of the world. Now, we said earlier that today you are wearing your Inno Suisse hat. Tell me a little bit about this organization and what the role is. The role of Inno Suisse is, as I have just said before, Switzerland is a superpower in terms of academic. Mm -hmm. and the idea of Inno Suisse is to bring a, a bridge between the academy mm -hmm. and companies that are interested to get access to fundamental research done in university. Okay. Fundamentally, Inno Suisse is creating a link between the academic sector okay. and companies okay. and allowing fundamental research that is done in academy to be used in company to transform okay. the, the research into products that can be commercialized. Okay. And that is really the concept of Inno Suisse. Okay. And as we look towards this new year, 2019, what are your plans? The plans is basically to allow companies to do more disruptive innovation. Because Switzerland For example? Has been... So I would use a counter example. Okay. Traditionally, Switzerland were very good at doing incremental innovation. Fundamentally, improving something that is well proven. Now, what is really important is to be able to do some innovation that is completely different from what we used to do. Mm -hmm. And so, if you think in the US, company like Google, company like Apple have done some disruptive innovation. Mm -hmm. What we are aiming at Inner Suisse is also to support disruptive innovation in Switzerland. And that is for me a really important element going forward. You don't feel that there's enough disruptive innovation happening then? That's what I said. No, no. so fundamentally, in Switzerland, we are very good at continuing to do well what we have Things done Things that are well. already existing. Exactly. But we are innovative here in Switzerland, no? no. So Switzerland, Switzerland is extremely innovative okay. because in many places, people are not able to do, uh, how to say, incremental innovation. But okay. in some cases, it's also needed to do something more fundamental. And that is okay. where you know Swiss can also help. Okay. All right. And do you have your eye on a certain sector, or? I would say that you know Swiss is open to all sectors. Okay. Having said that, you have some sectors like mm -hmm. bio industry, like uh, 
artificial intelligence, like uh, information technology, where there is a real opportunity for disruption. All right. And then just to finish up, earlier we mentioned China, um, and there are so many, there's a, of course a big debate as to how much power, what kind of role China should be playing in the future of technology. What do you think? China is playing an extremely important role. The question is to know how much of this role is really something in the free economy, how much is state control, and that is really the big question mark. But anyhow, China is playing an extremely important role in technology. And just to finish up, technology, blockchain, are we a blockchain nation? Blockchain is a really interesting uh, opportunity. It's not new as a concept, no. it has existed in the antiquity, mm -hmm. but basically applied with information technology, there is really a, an important uh, range of new applications that can be done in blockchain. And you think that Switzerland can step in there and yes, fill that? Yes, because fundamentally blockchain is a question of trust, and Switzerland is a country of trust. Trust in that Swiss-made brand, if nothing else, right? But not only the Swiss-made brand, but fundamentally, Switzerland is a nation that is based on trust. Trust in the authorities, trust in the, the, the population. This okay. combination is something pretty unique in the world. All right, well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Goodell. Welcome. I'm joined now by Daniel Kung. He is CEO of Switzerland Global Enterprise, one of the main sponsors, one of the masterminds, I like to say, behind the presence of the Swiss Pavilion here at CES 2019. What made you say, yes, I'm in, let's do it? The necessity to showcase the good companies we have. You know, we have had many startups in the, over the past years and they have grown to a level where we should really showcase it worldwide. And CES is the biggest show in this area. So we just felt compelled, we, we had to be here. That's a long time coming then. Oh yes, I think it is, but that's the way we are in Switzerland. You know, we take things easy, we start slowly, we're very long-term oriented, very quality oriented, and uh, when the moment comes, we say, now it has to be. And then we do it, and we do it committed. Do you think that works to the detriment of startups, for example, when they're looking for their financing and their funding? And I hear a lot from them that, well, we have to leave Switzerland because we just can't get people to trust us with their money. No, I think, the, I think the big market is not in Switzerland, you know. We have the technology, we have the infrastructure, we have the brains, we have the universities, we have the ecosystem. But when it's about growing, when it's about rolling out, uh, when it's about scale, upscaling, then Switzerland is not the right place because you need bigger markets. And I think the big investors, also the big US investors, they say, why should we go to Switzerland? Let's wait here. They sooner or later will have to come to the US. This is true. And more and more, they have a foot in both countries, right? Yes, but I think we should think global. You know, uh, the idea is not keeping these companies in Switzerland only in Switzerland. The, the idea is really to help them cross the border, discover new markets, roll out their product globally. That's what we want to do. So um, I think it's, it's working out all right. Where do you think we could improve? What could be done differently to make it better? Well, first of all, I'm very positive because I see what's happening. I'm just observing how these startup moves and when I look at the medium-sized companies that are successful in Switzerland, I see some of them made steps to other countries, but they did come back eventually. So, yeah, I think the reality proves me right. But, as to but what your, concerns you? As to your question, I think what we have to improve in Switzerland is the scale-up financing. We have to build out to build up our own financing structures and not wait for VCs from the US or from the UK or from other countries to come and fund our companies. Uh, I think we have the means for that and we need the risk aversion uh, to, to, to go down a little bit on the financial side. 
How, how could that be done? I think time will move in that direction as investments nowadays which really yield are more and more difficult to be found and more and more investment vehicles notice that startups actually is an area where you can earn a yield one of the few where you can earn yields and they start mixing this part into their portfolios so i think it's 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 a normal evolution which is happening at the moment and just briefly, for those people watching who don't know the role that Switzerland and Global Enterprise plays, what's the one-liner? We help small and medium-sized companies of Switzerland to discover and to, to, to conquer new markets. We um, work with about four to 5,000 companies a year. We bring about 700 to 800 companies a year into a new market. We give them information about the markets, we consult them, we, uh, we, we do contact uh, intermediation. We have 22 offices all over the world to take them by the hand and lead them into the markets. So what we're actually do is we're an accelerator for exporting companies to discover and to, to, to conquer new markets. At the same time, not less important, we're also in charge of the whole Invest in Switzerland program, meaning uh, we motivate and we show the advantages of business location Switzerland to foreign companies and attract them to come to our market. So one of the topics coming up a lot is the U.S. and China trade war here at CES because we're starting to feel, technology companies are starting to feel the effects of it. Apple and Samsung experts are pointing to the slowdown in the Chinese economy. Um, that these guys are also struggling. So tell me from where you are, what is your assessment of how that's affecting Swiss companies? Well, for the time being, I think it has, above all, affected American companies and Chinese companies. Uh, European companies have not been drawn directly into that trade war. If that would happen, that could be devastating uh, consequences also for Swiss industry because we are suppliers, for instance, of the German automotive industry, very heavy suppliers of the German automotive industry. So if German cars suddenly were to be taxed in the US or in China, we would suffer from that. From the, for the time being, we're only marginally touched by it. For instance, when you look at our steel companies, yes, but they are not one of the pillars of our export industry. So at the mo for the time being, it's under control, let's put it that way. But of course, if we do not find solutions to this trade war, this can have devastating uh, consequences for the whole world. What do you have up your sleeve, speaking of ACES, for Switzerland Global Enterprise in 2019? Well, we're going to bring up a whole new offer of uh, digital uh, of digital products. I mean, we too, we are part of uh, of an economy which is getting more and more digital. We have to make this transformational steps. We have been working on it for a long time. So we will come up with more platforms than we had so far to include third party suppliers in it, to give to Swiss SMEs and foreign SMEs, foreign companies interested in Switzerland, uh, a higher transparency of what they can expect and, uh, and where they can find what they're looking for. I'm joined now by a gentleman who is known for being a champion of Swiss innovation. He is Ambassador Martin Deinden, ambassador, Swiss ambassador to the United States. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Now, here we are at CES for the first time, official House of Switzerland, official Swiss pavilion. How important is that that Switzerland is here? It's very important. It showcases Switzerland as a modern country, as a country of innovation. We have very often an image of uh, being kind of a nice place, uh, chocolate, cheese, and all those stereotypes. And with this exhibition, we can 
promote an image that's much closer to what Switzerland really is. Switzerland is one of the most globalized economies. Switzerland is always among the most innovative countries and this is what we see here. Yes, this is the advantage of being in a place like this is that Switzerland then gets to be seen on a world stage because that's what this is. This is the biggest uh, consumer, it's the biggest show of its kind, the Consumer Electronics Show. Exactly, and this is also our place where we should be. If you look in what areas Swiss companies, the private sector is at the top, IT, digital, uh, digital innovations, also life sciences linked to innovation, it's really the place where I think Switzerland should have a profile, the profile it has now, and it will probably have in the future even more. Earlier you mentioned that you are living through an interesting time as an ambassador to the United States from Switzerland. One of the topics that's come up a lot, especially during this Consumer Electronics Conference this year, is the subject of China and the question of what role they should be allowed to play in the future of technology. What do you think? Also, I think uh, China should play the role that China could play. Uh, one of the problems is, of course, that uh, there are probably violations of intellectual property rights, and the United States and Switzerland is uh, probably affected by this. China should play this role, but it should also stick to the rules that have been established on the international level. And just looking around, these kinds of events, I mean, they are great for visibility, but they also, they are an investment, right? So, so how do you measure the success of something like this? I mean, how do you, what do you look for in order to say, this was money well spent? It depends always, uh, let's say, on the, uh, criteria you put yourself. One criteria is do we manage with these events to open the door for startups, for young companies to find investors, to be in a position to, uh, let's say, uh, to start with cooperation. This is one element. And then the other one that is very difficult to measure is the image of Switzerland. I mean, what we want to say is that Switzerland is an interesting place to invest. It's an interesting place to go. You find people with outstanding ideas and this is of course difficult uh, to measure because you never know what would have happened without you doing those things. Do you continue to support innovation in Switzerland? I hope so. I hope so and in promoting it rather than being an innovator myself. <laughs> Ambassador, thank you so much for your time. It was lovely chatting. Thank you very much. Thank you.